Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of Little Perspective. Perspective. It's episode 18, and this time Dylan was not able to make this podcast, but we have we have a very very special episode to to bring to you guys. This time we have four guests, which is something we have never had. And since since we're playing May United this weekend on Sunday, 11:30, we we decided to bring Owen, who's a Liverpool fan as well. Okay. As well as two United fans, not one United fan, two United fans, Connor and Argy. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, and I obviously came to the podcast a few episodes ago, but not when it was on YouTube. So I guess it's the debut for it's the debut for everyone here. So so yeah, nice to see you all. Uh, so let's get right in right into it. Liverpool. Actually, what, what have you guys made of your like weeks as Liverpool as Liverpool fan Owen as a United fan for you for you two? I just don't think we're making top four after drawing against Newcastle. To be honest, it's kind yeah. of embarrassing. Yeah, um, it's good to Mo, hear the Mo's fans accepting. Hey, Mo, Mo, Mo has another twenty goal season, so I'm okay with that. But to catch four points in five games. It's a tough ask, especially considering this is a Chelsea that's in form. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. I mean, United obviously with a good week. Yes, a fantastic good week. week. Fantastic yeah. week. So. I mean, Roma capitulated. So, yeah. Cavani masterclass. Absolutely elated. I feel it was more Bruno than Cavani, I feel, but yeah, True. both both, both oh, Cavani had a hat trick. What do you mean? He had two goals. He had two goals. He, had two goals. he, had two goals. he, oh, he missed two very good chances he had two mm-hmm. chances where i was like eddie you gotta you gotta put those away so I, I think his performance maybe was a little overrated but i mean you can't complain with a brace in europe yeah. Who, yeah. true who's gonna tell you off i mean roma roma got done horribly by injury yeah. though yeah i was gonna the three subs in the first 20 minutes definitely don't yeah happen. that's so bad <laughs> including their goalie as well yeah because wally was basically playing for us had a shot yeah yeah i was thinking about that as i was watching the game yeah yeah, United. I was I had I had hope when it was two one, but after that it, it went sideways very quickly for Roma. It's fine. They'll choke the final. It's totally fine. Hopefully they'll choke the final. I I I actually don't want Arsenal to reach the final just because if by some absolute fluke Arsenal beat us, I would never be able to show my face again in public. I don't think they so, will. I think Una I, yeah. I, I, hope Vill- I hope I hope will just finish it off so we can have an easy final. I would. I, I so, would I say it's easy, easy, man. No, I mean Marino's easy. Like even if we lost, it won't I would be, too be able bad. to be go out in public. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I get that point. Yeah. Because Arsenal fans are just—they're so desperate to win anything that they'll just cling on to it forever. I mean, at this they point, I don't think—I don't think they'll finish top half of the table. <laughs> top half? I, I don't think they will. They're in tenth right now, one yeah. point above Villa, who have a game in hand and goal difference. You don't think Leeds will drop? Leeds have a tough schedule for the rest of the season. Oh, right? uh, do they? I think they play a few good teams. Yeah. I can I I have more faith in Leeds winning a game than I do in Arsenal at <laughs> yeah, this point in time. If you that's, if that's, they that's played that's each true. other, I would bet uh, on Leeds if I had to. Yeah, that's true. Well, we well there is something in common that we all have here in this bashing Arsenal. That's like the one. That <laughs> yeah. <has a> common. <laughs> that's the, and even for us, it's easy to do because they're even worse. Yeah, than exactly. Us. So yeah. yeah, you guys have a little respite. Yeah, it's just, it's just been a tough season, but uh, but we yeah, apparently they're... are gonna sign Ibrahima Kanate from uh, RB Leipzig, yeah, another yeah, center back. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a what do you what do you think of the signing going? I think it's gonna be, I, I think, think it's, it's good because signing. he's like I don't know how many years older than Kabak he is, but he's like under 23, I'm pretty sure, or maybe he's like around 23, but he's definitely rated higher. Yeah, so exactly. I think for sure he will be a good like third string for if Gomez gets injured. Yeah, I would uh, just say my, slot right in there. Yeah, I would just say my only concern is, I mean, I was talking to Chu Hang about it. He's a Leipzig fan, uh, but he, and he was like, and he said that Kanante hasn't even started for Leipzig for the past few weeks, so it's gonna be interesting to see if if like. 
how much he's going to play and how, what's his, act, his actual yeah. level because he hasn't played for a while. Maybe it's because of his injuries mm-hmm. or like stuff like that. But well, Leipzig have very str- have a very strong defense as, as well. Like, yeah, they're 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 really well. Uh, I mean, Upa Makano is going to go for like 70, 80 yeah. mil at some point. To either United or Bayern, it's probably going to be Bayern. Bayern, yeah. Um, Everyone and then Bayern. I know their captain Orban is also a center back. So there's your pairing yeah. right there. Maybe they start Klosterman at center back. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they definitely have options there. as well. Yeah, they definitely do have options there. But yeah, let's get into the Liverpool Newcastle game. It, I, I really fun. don't want to. It was kind <laughs> of a shambles. Speaking of Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> I just I don't know what to say about this game. Obviously, we have to cover it because it was our last game. But it, it just the same old again and again and again. Yeah. Uh, it's just the same thing. It from in the first half we scored early. Since when do we score? Great early? finish, by the way. Since when, do we score, since when do we score in the first half of, of games? Especially That's what we've early. been doing now. We score in the first half, then we choke it in the 85th minute. I mean, we never score in the first half. We usually just lose the game one. Yeah. This time, at least we <laughs> we could score in the first half. That's that's the only positive I could take after that. For two yeah, games, we missed so many chances, half. though. What we do? But at- like Mane, Mane missed so many chances. And yeah, like, what what annoyed yeah. me about it is I remember I I I don't know if you guys will know exactly the play I'm talking about, but we're like Mo had three guys on him and he squared it to Mane to a one on one, and Mane didn't score, and he just gets yeah. up and he's just smiling about it. And I'm like, how could you be smiling when you have so few goals and you're performing like so poorly? You know, like I don't I just I just don't see like the passion there. I think. I was talking about this with Josh the last time I was on, which was like a couple of weeks ago. I I highly doubt this front three will stay intact yeah. after this transfer window. I think either Bobby or Sadio is gone. I think so, Bobby's gone. I think Jota can come in and replace him. Yeah, he, he will. will. Replace him up top. And Firmino's like a bit deeper now. Yeah. As like a camp. <clears throat> but like, I don't know. The results haven't been going that well. So I mean, we could just pick up Mbappe and it'd be totally fine. Like, <laughs> I I don't see that happening now. After that, I won't happen. Happen. I'm sure it won't happen. But yeah, it especially just, if we don't make champion. Imagine Mbappe in the Europa League. Yeah, <laughs> that would be something. But yeah, it's just the same crap over and over and over again. In the first half, we played well. I have to say, we played well, but we missed so many chances, and and you can't miss so many chances like that. And yeah. when it's one nil, it's a dangerous. Sco- it's a really dangerous score for any team. I think this game was different from the Leeds game, though, because the Leeds game, when we conceded in like the 88th minute, as I was watching the game, I was talking to myself. It was like the 75th, and I'm like, they've had chance after chance. They're gonna score another like scrappy goal in the end, and we're gonna tie again. And they honestly deserved it because they destroyed us in that second half. Yeah, but this but, one was just. Uh, yeah, can I can I say something else as well? Newcastle had. Their goal, like two minutes before, that was disallowed. Yeah, and, like that should be the wake up call where you're like, yeah. okay, they scored on us. We just got so lucky. Like for the last minute of the game, let's defend well. And like the fact that Willick just they just hoof a long ball down. And I mean, the goal, the goal was away. deflected, but still. still, he it falls to him at the penalty spot, and he's got like ten seconds. Yeah. Like uh, he had, he took like two touches. No, like. In the but box. the thing is, when we are up one nil, we have a, we are up one nil a lot of times, like especially last year, it, it didn't go our way. Like I remember, for example, what game was this? This is um, I remember, for example, Liverpool versus Brighton. I remember it didn't go our way. We were up two nil. Allison got some stupid red card, I think, that, and then Adrian came in, came in goal. We can see this uh, goal. Don't mention Adrian. Uh, it was but. But we were able Great to hold on to that two. We were able to hold on to that two-one lead. If this happened, if this same incident happened this year, we would have collapsed. See, you know what's been and interesting though is that that's the game. That's the Nat game. Phillips that's didn't play in this game, so it was again Fabinho and Kabak as a center back pairing, and I'm pretty sure they haven't won a game together. I, I, I could be that definitely couldn't be true. I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, think I saw a stat that it's like in eight games, it's like four draws and four losses. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, but, like, we need Fabinho as that like six 
in the midfield as that defensive cover. Because when yeah, he's not there, like, why now them can't do that. Henderson normally would, but he's hurt. Tiago can't do that. Yeah, like, I, I feel like they're asking Tiago to be that Fabinho player when Fabinho's he's not. playing defense, and he's just been very poor in that position, I think. Like, every time I watch him, I'm like, okay, he completed a few sideways passes. Why do people think, I think he's so good? See, I think he gets a lot of stick, though, because, like, everyone's expecting him to contribute, like, tons of assists, but he didn't do that at Bayern either, and he was still considered world-class. Yeah, like yeah. it was. I feel like once he gets like a full season with an actual defense behind him, he'll be a lot better. Yeah, and I think more <clears throat> Fabinho providing freedom might be good for him as well. Yeah, we'll yeah we, we saw that for the past few games with Fabinho playing in the six. We won. We did well. Yeah, yeah. Like, whenever you go on the field, like you just you guys just sort of suck the opponents in and just keep like sustained pressure. Yeah, but when 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 he's playing center back, there's no one. To sustain yeah. that pressure. Yeah, we there's got, no one to like yeah. cut off that pass from like, the waiters or the, like, the midfielders to the forwards. Yeah. This yeah. this season really has shown how important Fabinho is to you guys because Fabinho also brings the best out of Henderson because Henderson used to play that role and then once yeah. Fabinho they brought in Fabinho Henderson was allowed to play more forward and he started thriving in like a box to box role instead of playing farther back and now everything's yeah. kind of falling apart. No, that's true. Too. A Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago midfield makes me like salivate. It's gonna be so nice next year. Henderson being that eight going back and forth, Fabinho being the six, yeah. and Thiago just distributing everywhere. It's gonna be great, provided they're all healthy at the same time. Yeah, but you. I was just wanted to point out that you would you could argue also that if you had Henderson in the six, you, it was this would be a better situation as well for Thiago. Yeah, because I think yeah. Thiago came back right when Henderson is playing center back. And Fabinho yeah. was playing center back yeah. because of our injury crisis. Like so, Thiago basically got into the team to the team in the wrong time. Yeah. So that that's like I think but, that's basically what happened. But 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 then again, then again, if you're coming into the team, like you just got to do what the manager asks of you. And if you're not playing well, like you 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 got to step up. Like these are the times when yeah real yeah. Great but like players compare Thiago to Fabinho. Thiago was just like short, like five, yeah, like, yeah, probably like eight something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. he just, he's not he's not a six. Like at least just, Henderson's just, like I'm, kind I'm of big. I'm just saying you gotta you gotta step up when yeah. when your backs are against the wall and this Liverpool team is just folded. That was class though. In full class, so beautiful to watch. Yeah, like, yeah. His good. passing is insane. Yeah. But it also doesn't help that our forwards have been horrible, other than Mo. Yeah, yeah. and I mean Salah hasn't been performing at his be- as his best, but he's still scoring goals and he's like, put he, the team he, on his back he, offensively. There's no yeah. one else that I would rely. I mean, he has missed chances. We uh, we could definitely agree with that, but he's, he's still scoring the goals. And but that's exactly what Mane hasn't been doing for a while. But Firmino has just fallen off the face of the earth, hasn't he, for you guys? Well, I, I feel yeah, like he, but I feel, I feel like, like he, there's multiple reasons behind that, but, though. But he never scored that much. Like, he would always, like, pop up with 10. But he he hasn't been facilitating that much either, really. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like the fact nothing. that, like, last season, like, he didn't do insanely well. And then, like, they, we brought in Jota, who's probably going to be his replacement. So now he is that. Like, he has to keep his eye, like, he's, like, his head over his shoulder looking at Jota, like – being like the guy like coming up behind him yeah. and then it's just leading to him just creativity wise just losing that spark yeah. yeah i was another thing i wanted to point out in this game <clears> is that I, like Kabak was really tested in this game against newcastle but st maximum man i thought he actually had a decent game yeah he didn't do poorly against st maximum and Calum Wilson. He played very well and yeah. i think I, I i think it was more fabinho the one who was struggling i think it kind of showed how like he's he's he he could play center back maybe once or twice, but you, you can't expect him to perform like this in the center back. Yeah, he's he's talked about it in interviews. He's like, I'll play a center back if Klopp asked me to, but I hate doing it, and I'd much rather be a six. Yeah, like it's just but, tough when your first three center backs are all out. Yeah, it, and then your fifth. It's a, it's a tough situation. But my question leading to that was. Do you think we should keep Kabak for next season? Because obviously, I think he's on loan. So, um, I feel like you guys have to for squad depth because Matip's always injured, anyways. He's always had problems with injuries. Yeah, yeah. I would put Kabak over Matip. Like, yeah. So really? yes, I would. I feel but then like we he... also signed like 
Ben Davies from Preston. Yeah. He's like 25, and he I don't even like he's just sits on the bench. Like, what was the point? He got injured though recently, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, who knows? No, he, got injured, he got injured. No, no, no. He got injured in like in when he came in. Yeah, yeah. And the, hey, now, that's why it took a while. It's not been that recently. It's been bro, just build a hospital. It's, it's next April to the 30th, stadium. and the and the transfer deadline day was was the beginning of February. So it, it it's been two months ago. Yeah, true. One month and a half or something like that. No. Probably two months ago. Like I, I want to see him play just so that we can free Fabinho so he can play in the midfield. Yeah, so I don't know what the problem is there as well. That's another in- interesting point that we don't really we don't really know much about, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, Owen, you, Owen, you said that we can we won't get top four. But I on like like, let's look at Chelsea's games. They play, let's see, uh, here. They play Fulham this week when we play United. Um, so that's obviously much easier for them than it is for us. And then uh, Chelsea. So they play Fulham. Up. They play City, who's probably going to beat them. They play Arsenal, Leicester, and Villa. So those last four games are actually quite tough. They're but tough. They West, are tough. That, but that's then if we look at West Ham. West Ham has Burnley, who they should beat, Everton, who they should beat, Brighton, who they should beat, West Brom, who they should beat, and they Southampton. Won't beat they won't they beat all of them, though. They won't beat all because it's West Ham. It's still West Yeah, Ham. but, like, we, will, we won't win our last five games. The, we, we won't do it. The thing is – Which is what we basically about, need to do. I mean, he, the thing is, we will ha- if we win our last five games, we'll be top four. I think that's, like, for sure, that's a certainty. Like, I See, think like, – we, we should – we should beat Southampton and we, West Brom we and Burnley should, and Crystal Palace, but we what won't. What we should be able to do is get 13 points of the next 15 of our last 15. And that I just don't awesome. see it happening, especially but, with the performances West Brom has been putting in recently, and like, like they're like relegation yeah, like battle. I'm, I'm, here's here's my here's my butt. But, <laughs> but but the records do show the what is that that besides Sheffield United. So let's let's in, this include Sheffield United. In this. So that means the bottom. So basically, from that means the bottom six from fourteen place no, team number fourteen to team number nineteen in the table. We haven't won a game against those teams. So how do I expect us to beat Burnley away? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. West Brom away. Uh, who yeah, else? West Brom are on form right now. Too. How do exactly, I, that's what I just said. How do we're I? Not, we're not making top four. How do I expect who who else do we have? How do I expect Southampton and Southampton Palace at home? Like, how do I expect that to happen? Oh man! How do I, I, I like? Maybe Crystal Palace. We beat them seven zero, but that was a while ago too. How do I know we're gonna be Crystal Palace? Yeah, Firmino scored in that game. Like how? Like it's just like like we need we need like basically thirteen. Out of fifteen, I mean, we're man, gonna I get like seven. About man, I, we're gonna preview that game later, but I have zero hope, zero confidence for that game. I think the best zero. we can do is scrape a draw. If we can because get a United uh, team that's in form that like just destroyed Roma. So, I'm um, I. There's no reason for me to be confident making the top four. Maybe West Ham yeah. can make the top four. Maybe oh, that maybe would be Western cool. Show. But speaking, but I mean, obviously, actually, before we get to the other Premier League matches, I mean, this kind of sums up our 2021 and a little before that, ever since, uh, ever since, ever, ever since Boxing Day thing, because that's when we drew West Brom, mm-hmm. ever since the day after Boxing Day, Liverpool have scored just four Premier League goals. From 146 shots at Anfield in 2021. Yeah, it's like a, a goal every 36 shots. Yeah, it's like a two percent something completion rate or something stupid like that. It's like atrocious. Yep, yeah, two point eight percent completion rate. You guys yeah. are underperforming your xG by quite a bit recently, like by five goals, which amounts to like a couple points late. Like, that they'll get you that top four. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and look, we can't score. Like against Newcastle, against Leeds, we had chances to make it 2 0, and we just never do it. And you're like, you're basically like this. Okay, we know what's going to happen next. 
Like honestly, like at this point, start Shakiri. Start Shakiri, Jota, and and Salah. Make I that your front three. Point, honestly. Like, I, I, what, like well at this point. there's no point in playing for me the, though. The, I, th- I think the no only point. way you guys can secure top four is to play Origi every single minute for the rest of the season. <laughs> That's the only thing you can oh. really do. I don't even know if he makes our bench anymore. I don't. I, I don't see any other way. Does, you you, like... you got to bring Divock back into the equation. Oh, <laughs> then he's, gonna, he's probably gonna miss it, and then I guess one on one misses against Burnley. <laughs> He'll score that cheesy header against Everton in the ninety plus six, though. Oh, big Did game player. Origi, Origi wasn't even on our bench against Newcastle. There big game go. player. Big game player. Should have kept Reed and Brewster. Exactly. Oh. Brewster. Bro, bro, that was a that was a robbery. We saw him for like yeah. 40 something. I, but but he scored like 30 goals in the championship last season. Yeah. I thought he was gonna play well. Hey, he's he scored, gonna go like, back down there. Did he score this season? I know zero, zero goals. Is gonna be a good zero, player. right? Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Terrible. Maybe we should get Harvey Elliott. Maybe that's who we need right now. Honestly, I'm excited for him. I, he's, he's been killing it at Blackburn. I'm not gonna lie. So, no, like as a bench player, like that'd be, yeah, he'd be a, good a good bench, bench player. player. I agree, but because yeah, I'm pretty sure Shakiri wants out because he just doesn't get played. Oxley Chamberlain is probably going to get sold because he doesn't get played, <laughs> which is so tough. To because in 2017 2018, he was doing so well until yeah. he got his knee obliterated, yeah, leg break. Yeah, and he that was did, doing like, so sick, and then an injury just screwed him. He scored it, that great goal against City. Yeah, the, the Rocket. I think the injury yeah. screwed him, and I think we, I think we kind of started to shift our playing style to more possession based. Yeah. Because I remember. 17, I mean, he worked. He worked as a box to box midfielder, and yeah, then 17, forget, 18, it was against Roma. Yeah, it was against Roma. His his right knee just got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. like seventeen eighteen, like we were kind of more like more like a counter attack team. The kind of running at the at it the, was the it was the heavy metal it was the in yeah, your face like more heavy metal but I think I think eighteen nineteen and like like net and Liverpool now <clears> in more of a possession base like it kind of evolved. yeah I'm not sure if even I mean maybe I think if Ox was able to train more when he was not and without being injured maybe he would be able to shoot adjust to it but maybe I'm not sure if he would be the player he was at that point. I mean, like, I'm just looking at our bench. James Milner is like 35 or something. Nabi Kate is a flop. Ox is hurt. Curtis Jones is too young. Shakiri, I, I don't even have words. Like, he has quality, but it just doesn't show. You guys should uh, buy Arnautovic to bring the best out of Shakiri, I think. Next up. <laughs> yeah, go to the CSL and pick up Arnautovic. Something, I remember something about the Newcastle game that really – Kind of like really angered me a little bit was was basically the the subs like I yeah like Thiago was playing well in this exactly game. he took off Thiago, Thiago for Curtis Thiago Jones had, no sense Thiago was able to like we were controlling the game really well and then and then Klopp took takes off Thiago and puts Curtis Jones so, and, it made no and, sense and we we basically lost control ever since like I think it was the seventy fifth minute and and we were losing control. And Klopp is angry that we couldn't keep the ball. And when T- when Thiago was the one we needed, yeah, to have in order to keep the ball, because I I think we need that game management, keep the ball, the last minute of the game, just hold, get it to the even get just keep just keep the ball. Don't give Newcastle anything, because I, we could def- we could blame our defense for what happened that goal, but but it's a long ball, and when you have a long ball, anything can happen. Like yeah. a, some stupid deflection could happen. Anything, so we we kind of put the pressure into our ourselves in that in that situation when we literally had the free kick after the offside goal. We we need, had to keep the ball and manage the game. And and this is not something. That, this is not something that uh, the Liverpool team last year would have done, or the Liverpool team the year before. Yeah, We've been able to manage that game, win the game one 0 Yes, it wasn't the best attacking performance, by no means. But we got we got the win. We got the job done. The same thing against Leeds. And like, those, I'm just those, looking at our bench right now, and I just like see no one that could really influence a game other than maybe Shakiri. But still, yeah, I agree. Like, with you. That's also a problem. But I, I think in, in these two games specifically, it's all about managing the game. When you're up one nil, just manage the game. Yeah, taking time off didn't and make sense. That's what we could. That's that's what we've done for the past two seasons. That's why we we won the league. That's why we got so many points. But yeah, 
That's the difference. These are, well, this is four points dropped right here. We would have been in the secure the top four at this point. But yeah, if we had if we had won these two games, I believe we'd be yeah. in the top four right but, now. Or we'd be we'd be like tied for it. Yeah, but what makes it worse is that West Ham lo- West Ham lost to Chelsea one there. We needed yeah, we're basically desperate for a point. Yeah, we needed a draw there and we just didn't get it. Yeah. I mean, what did you guys think of the game? The West Ham Chelsea game? Yeah. I wanted West Ham to win so bad because if Jesse Lingard carried West Ham from the depths to get top four, that would just be the best story ever. I want, like, but, if we don't make top four, I beg West Ham dude, makes Champions but, League. But Chelsea just shat all over West Ham that whole game. Yeah. I don't think West Ham yeah. had a single yeah. chance. Yeah, the red card was The atrocious. red card was cheese, though. And, and Werner missed an open goal, which was pretty yeah. terrible as well. <laughs> I don't think that but, red card should have been a red card. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but Chelsea were let's dominant. Talk about, wait, let's talk about the performance first. So let's not get too into too many places. Let's talk about the performance. We'll get to the red card okay what were you saying I mean, like, what, I mean like we just kind of went over like chelsea dominated the entire yeah, game chelsea had the most possession they had chances Werner missed a wide open goal which yeah, uh, yeah i what, literally what, started what, what, laughing what, what, out loud when he missed scored, that goal. though at least he got a goal but but he got it he got an open goal and he missed an open goal <laughs> yeah like, that he scored a tap and then he missed a tap like. but the tap that he missed was better fabianski palmed it out to him yeah. fabianski's on the right side of the goal and he puts it wide i was like dude Come on. He did the same thing as Real Madrid. Pulisic heads it back across and he hits it right into Courtois. Like, come on. Yeah. Man. yeah. Burner, man. Yeah, Argy, what did you make of that? Yeah, Chelsea, like, so solid defensively. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I don't like Chelsea, but I have Mendy and Rudiger in my FPL. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But, yeah, they're so strong defensively. Like, they yeah. never looked like they were going to concede at all in that game. I can't remember a single West Ham chance. Yeah. Like, I don't remember one West Ham chance from what I watched in the game. Like, it, like West Ham are a good team. Uh, we saw, we see how we have seen how West Ham have been playing this year yeah. with Lingard, um, Antonio when he was he was playing Bowen, uh, Sojcek at the court uh, in on set pieces, and Chelsea just shut them down. Completely. But 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 I, I, West Ham are a little unlucky because Antonio's been injured. Yeah, that, um, yeah. Rice, Rice is injured, and Rice really provides a lot of protection for that back line. That no Rice and Suchek so, is the best DM pairing in the league. Yeah, that, no, I, I agree, but but Suchek isn't really a DM because Rice like takes up a lot of the defensive yeah, work, and sure. Suchek is allowed to. Well, they both they both the play box. deep. They, okay, deep yeah, yeah. line, but but uh, without Rice, it forces Suchek to stay farther back and start yeah. their attack. I feel, yeah. which is why they yeah. didn't have many chances. They were just because yeah. then yeah. you got to drop yeah. Mark Noble in where yeah. Rice supposed to be. Mark Noble ain't Rice. Hey, if they got a penalty, though, they would have scored with no ball on the pitch. Yeah. No, but it was, it was, to be fair, it was impressive from what, in Western's perspective overall that yeah. they're able to perform without these players, like Breeze, yeah. Rice, uh, Rice, and Antonio. So, but yeah, I, I, the red card, though, Owen just mentioned, that was so BS. That was just. Yeah. I have, there was I have, nowhere like, for his foot to go. Like, where? Yeah, I don't know where it's supposed to go. Just, and. Just don't do anything at this point. And it's not malicious. And like what I was saying when I was watching the game is if Balbuena really wanted to hurt him, like Chilwell would not have gotten up from that tackle. Yeah. If Balbuena put his weight into that, Chilwell's leg is breaking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously there was there was no malicious intent. He he t- practically tapped him, but. Whatever. I mean, it was just a follow through. He was just trying to that's, like put his no, foot back that's down. What, that's what I'm saying. But once yeah. he made the contact, he got off. He didn't like yeah. he completely follow through his leg. Yeah, like yeah. It's ridiculous officiating. And, and that, was, that was his like. I'm pretty sure he had gotten a red card, and that was his return yeah. from a red card, and he got another red the, card. The only thing that makes it better is West Ham would have lost anyway. <laughs> yeah, they would have lost anyway. To be fair, but so they. They, I mean, yeah, they were Chelsea dominated before then, and they dominated after. It didn't make a difference. But yeah, it, it, the FA did over overturn the the red card. Which yeah. Is good news. But the thing is, the referee. It's not even. This is not even VAR at this point. The yeah. referee looked at the screen. Yeah. It's not like VAR made the decision. Well, the referee made the decision at the end of the day. Well, and. The NBC sports commentator, I don't remember if it was Arlo White or the other guy, but they made Lee it, Dixon. They, or Lee Dixon, yeah. Dude, I have so much trouble remembering who's who. But yeah. but one of them made a good point where he said he said the VAR referee looked at it for like a few minutes and then the ref looked at the screen for like 
another few minutes. So how is it clear and obvious if you're watching the replay like 20, yeah. 30, 40 times? Yeah. Like how is that clear? How does that fit the criteria of clear and obvious? If I you're like watching it goes out the window though. Clear and obvious just yeah, goes out the window. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like yeah. like they're not following their own rules. VAR as a whole needs to be reformed. It's, yeah. not, even, it's not even just VAR. It's just referees. referees. Like, how do you call yeah. a red? How do you look at that screen and say red card? Yeah. Like VAR. Like, I can understand maybe a yellow, but like the v, VR. No, I would. I, I I think I think a yellow is fair for that. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It is okay. Fine. Yeah. Yellow card. But VAR is not. It's not to blame for the referee looking at a screen. And clear and obvious. Not a red card offense and yeah. he calls that red like you like vr can't vr is basically exposing the referee in this situation of how clueless he is also they play in slow-mo so yeah, everything yeah. looks worse in slow-mo because it looks That's like true as well. so well. yeah but it doesn't but actually you, have that much force yeah. behind it yeah you can't gauge the speed in slow motion yeah but i feel like as a referee you're supposed to know that yeah so that's not an excuse for the referee because you're supposed to know what if it's slow motion. Well, and you saw it in real time. Like you saw it like, in real time. It's not like Chris Cavanaugh is a new referee. He's been refereeing for a long time already. Yeah. For like a good three years. I know for sure. <laughs> no excuse. But yeah. yeah I'm I mean, just looking at this table now and it, it just it just pains me to see City winning another league. Like I feel you there. We'll stop it. We'll stop it. Yeah, you no, guys are gonna make it up ten it. points I, I, in five. Yeah, I don't City's gonna it. drop ten points in five games. Ar- Argy, I'm not a believer, man. I really needed. To, I really wanted them to lose. Uh, to, to Villa. To Villa, yeah. yeah. Well, I was watching the Villa game and I was so excited, and then Matty Cash with the worst red. That so was so stupid. dumb. It was so, so dumb. dumb to uh, make I, that tackle in City's half. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, there was no need. To you got a man up, watch. buddy. I couldn't, I, I couldn't so care sad. less. Couldn't care less. I already know what's going to happen so, with Man yeah. City. So, but yeah, Le- uh, Leicester had a few had a few interesting of their past two games. They they came from one 0 <laughs> down to beat Crystal Palace two one a Kalachi yeah. masterclass. Yeah, Kalachi well, Iannaccio. What a finish insane. from Iannaccio in that Palace. Yeah. Game, by the way. <clears throat> What a finish. Like, I remember he used to be at City, and everyone – he he started was, his career he, he at was, Leicester. He, he was Moise Keane, uh, the first Moise Keane. That's what yes. Yeah, he, was. he started his career yeah, at Leicester, yeah. first went to City, and gave Leicester a buyback option, and he flopped yeah. the City, so they bought him back, and now he's insane. Yeah. It's you mean they didn't bring him back? Game. They didn't exercise their option? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, Inacho's incredible this year, though. Like, he, this is the this is the Inacho we expected from Man when he was at Man City, and and he's finally solved Leicester's problem of replacing Jamie Vardy, Vardy. because yeah. they they bought so many strikers over the last five years and they've all been terrible. And Inacho just came out of nowhere. Who yeah. else did they bought? Like Islam Slimani, Slimani. Yeah. Per- per- Perez was also like a forward in Newcastle in that striker area. Not exactly. A, I mean, he's really more on the right, but yeah, he's not bad yeah. either. But 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 they've spent a lot of money on attackers, and I'm I'm I like Leicester as a club, and I'm happy that they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so Le- so Leicester won that game, and then they then they came back from one 0 down again to be a ten men um Southampton team side. So uh, right now, so they drew. drew. I, yeah, I meant to draw. I meant one one draw. I did. I did. I did. I had the feeling Southampton would get draw off Leicester, so I'm not shocked about. This Do score. Southampton just get the most red cards in the league? I feel like every time I watch a yeah. Southampton game, they yeah, have it's card. crazy. It's yeah. always like Bednarek, though. No, it's, it's either Bednarek or Vestergaard. Yeah. It's always those two, or like Oriol Romeu. Although Bednarek's red card against United was very unlucky as well. That was another poor refereeing decision. Yeah. But still. I feel but, like they get a record. Yeah, so what every we say week. Leicester, how well Leicester's position in the top four. Well, I think they're there. They're right now. They're if, eight points clear, but that but West Ham and Liverpool have a game in hand. So if could, Leicester managed to throw it away for a second year in a row on the last day, it would that would be like such. That's a like the ultimate Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, I, Rogers, like last year losing it on the last day to a Jesse Lingard 90th minute goal. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. There's nothing they can do. You know? But well, yeah, um, <laughs> in regards to Leicester's fixtures, they're hard. Have, they're pretty hard. 
they're, yeah. they're, it's pretty hard. So they, Newcastle, who are in good form right now, as we know. Yeah. We say backs are causing trouble. I think Leicester will win that. Could, will win that, but it will be a tough one. But Leicester are what? another team that's been bogged down with injuries this whole year. James. Yeah. Soyuncu has been hurt for like half yeah, the season. They, 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 the the they, James yeah. Justin ACL tear, Ricardo Pereira. Fofana as well has been hurt as well. Ricardo Pereira. Yeah, they have. They had the company. And has been out for like two, three months. I, I Leicester are just so unlucky too. Like, yeah, but you just love that team though. Like, yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah. I want them to succeed so yeah. bad, and they <clears> always get some BS that happens. Yeah, and that okay. So I think they'll make top four though. So their next, there should, yeah. there's no way that they have a five point lead on fourth. There's we no need, way they need their five. Wait, wait, wait. That's unless they run to the quarterfinals and they UCL. And their final yeah. three, their final three fixtures are May United, four, uh, four fixtures. No, I final said three, Newcastle. final three. I said Newcastle. Yeah. They can Newcastle. Oh, Newcastle, Newcastle. Can Newcastle. Draw off, this, get off this game, maybe. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough back. May, they play well, May United. I don't. Um, I don't see Leicester being May United. I mean, they beat us last time. Yeah, they did. Not Old Trafford. I don't see it happening. With no fans, uh, I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. You yeah. guys you guys are, like, hitting prime form, though. Yeah. Can I also just say, Leicester, not only are they playing Man United, they're playing the like FA Cup a few days later. Yeah. Like, that's tough. Yeah. I, I can't see them beating us if they're resting players for the FA Cup final. Oh, yeah, they have that FA Cup final as well. Yeah. Chelsea. Babe, United – Who? wait, the Cup final is against City, right? Or am I wrong? Chelsea. 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 And, so then they they, the... and then they have to play Chelsea in the league again. And then Tottenham. And then they I play mean, Tottenham's bottle job, so <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. But, like <laughs> – They'll breeze past Tottenham on the final day. Well, I, I mean, I, honestly, they probably know. will. If both teams have – Kane will get both... shut down by prime Johnny Evans. Yeah, I mean, Johnny Evans is a great player, actually. He actually is. Like, he's kind of a mean. Dude, Captain, instead of Phil Jones and Smalling. <laughs> I was so happy to see Smalling back in the Roma game. Uh, and I wasn't happy when they were winning, obviously. But once we were winning – He was, was playing happy. for your team. Yeah. He was so <laughs> bad. Sm- Smalling's once you're red, always a red, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, but Leicester will have a. I, I mean, Leicester. How many points do you think they need to get to get top four? I mean, okay, so Chelsea they have will four be games two, left, two and they're back eight they points the clear. Game. So I think they need. I think they need. To, they probably need what sixty six. I think. That, I think to make top four, I think they may need four more points. Yeah, I would say four points is fair. Four, four or five points. Four from four? I would honestly – I'd probably say three. Maybe three, two. I mean, if they beat Chelsea in the league, then I think they're secure. If they get the three points over Chelsea specifically, then I think they're good. See, because I I think Chelsea will prioritize the FA Cup over playing Tottenham the next week. But surely Leicester are prioritizing the FA Cup over playing Chelsea as well, no? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, probably. Especially yeah. imagine Leicester win the fucking FA Cup, dude. Oh, my yeah, God. that'd be valid. That'd be crazy. That would be almost as great as Wigan tipping Manchester City. <laughs> if Leicester do beat Newcastle, they're in a good position heading into those final three Premier League games. Yeah. They'll definitely have. And I mean, <laughs> Chelsea need. I think Chelsea, if they beat Fulham as well, I mean, Chelsea have a lot of tough games coming up. Especially yeah. with all the yeah. Champions League. Plus with the Champions League, too, yeah. I think Chelsea will definitely drop points as well. Yeah, Chelsea. So no. Definitely, if West, Ham could, if West Ham could get the job done, and West Ham, uh, I mean, even, Spur, even Spurs with the, with the Ryan Mason could get something. I don't think they will, but they play like Sheffield. Bro, there's good, like, Spurs, don't, the Spurs is not... But 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 I, I mean they're good, still contested. I can't. We can't write them off. Like good, that. they're still good for, in there. Good for Even Ryan Everton. Mason. They're still in there, but I don't think Everton will make it. But I I'm so left. happy for Ryan Mason. Seriously, after what happened to him, just yeah. the fact that he's still involved and finding success. Okay, here's the thing though. Mourinho should not have been fired before that yeah. final. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, it didn't make sense. Yeah. If I you want to fire him, if he loses, that's different. But I mean, I mean Marino secured the bag. I don't think he cares that much. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that Amazon, that Amazon doc though. Yeah, exactly. The, bro, I need to watch it. I haven't watched it. I can't. Watch yeah. It. Okay, oh, so I, I I ask this question, I guess, every single time with in this podcast, who's making top four at this point? Is City only... and United are locks. 
I, mean, I wouldn't it, be surprised if it's the four we see right now in the top four. I wouldn't either. I would love to see West Ham get in there, but yeah. I think it'll be this four. David Moyes, manager of the season? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do think it'll be this four, but I feel like if anyone's going to – well, Who do we think is going to get um, player of the year? I feel Harry like it's Kane has to be. Kane? Harry Kane? Kane? I think it has to be Harry Kane for player of the season. Wow. In so, my mind, it was either Kane or Bruno, but it's got to be Kane. Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine yeah. you having the most goals and the most assists in the league and not winning. That's like is such he, a how many season. How many goals ahead of Mo is he? He's one. Season? He's one, one ahead. So I could, I could still see Salah maybe. Yeah, but nonetheless, I mean. But yeah, no, yeah. Kane has 34 goal, goal Yeah, 34 goal contributions is insane. That's, insane. that's still yeah. less than Lewandowski has goals in the Bundesliga. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but Bundesliga, yeah. like Kane, if, if they swapped teams, yeah, Kane yeah, would do no, better in Bayern than Lewandowski know, would do his first. Uh, ah, wait, what? yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Lewandowski's insane. Lewandowski <laughs> is insane. Player. For the supporting cast he has, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. That's true. That is true. But I don't know if I don't know if Kane would do a lot better than Lewandowski and Bayern, you know. Yeah, I don't know if it. No, no, no. I'm not saying that Kane would do better at Bayern than Lewandowski would. I'm saying if they switched, Kane would be better at Bayern than Lewandowski would. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh okay. Oh, I I think so. I do think. Yeah, yeah. I think Kane can definitely carry worse players than Lewandowski can because Kane's playmaking has improved so much. Yeah, Yeah, I definitely do agree. I, I agree with that, but I mean they're both amazing players. So yeah. But, I mean, I'm just looking and, at the, I'm just looking at the Lewandowski stats right now. did that Borussia Dortmund. What'd you say? Lewandowski did do that Borussia Dortmund. Yeah. He, yeah. he had Royce, though. Yeah, Royce. Yeah, What's there? Like, he did, the guard. Royce have shot. So sit, like, Hummels mm-hmm. in his prime. Jakub Blasius, Skowski. I mean, like, Spurs have scored 56 goals this season. Kane has 34 goal involvements. Yeah. That's, That's insane. insane. Yeah. Yeah. Kane's their whole team. But, and then, like, Liverpool have, like, 55, and Mo has 20. Yeah. Well, I mean, Arsenal, I, Arsenal wish they had such type player, for sure, because they... As soon as Aubameyang signed that contract extension, he flopped. Yeah. He just right. didn't care because he got the bad. They lost 1-0 again. They, like, they lost 1-0 to Everton on Friday. It's a big it's a big win for Everton in, in the top four race. Yeah. Did you guys see Leno's mistake in that game? Of yeah, course I saw. Cool. You think like I don't know what you. What, Emmy Martinez what you is a better goalie than Leno. Yeah, yeah no, he just that, is. I don't think that's debatable at this point. He just is. They just they, they kept the wrong one, and now Martinez. Yeah, but but right but, but but from Arteta's position, you can't sell Leno after he had such a. He he was so solid for them. Oh no, he won in 2018, 19, and 2019, 2020. Yeah. He was great. Like Martinez but, played really well, and like he showed the early signs. But you can't be like, oh, yeah, look, you can't look, sell your Martinez number one. Is our number one. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. It's the same with us at United where, like, Dean Henderson is playing well. Like, he's not playing as well as Martinez was playing for Arsenal. Yeah. But I'm like, I've got such a loyalty. To I honestly Dehaya, don't rate man. him that highly. Yeah. I think yeah. De Gea is, like, way better. But, I mean, all time De Gea is way better. I, I think right now they're probably about even, but I've just <laughs> – De Gea has done so much for the club. He's been our player of the season, like, five times. Yeah. yeah. Actually, so, like, like – who, who, like, uh, who starts as your keeper against us? Against yeah, hey, you guys, against Romo. I see Dean Henderson starting yeah, against Henderson. you guys. Yeah. You think Henderson's going to start? He yeah. was also in the league now. So he started right, the league so and they had the cup competitions. Yeah. So De Gea is in the cup. Yeah, De Gea, De Gea played yesterday. Yeah, De Gea played against Romo. So, so that means he plays in the cups, and that means Henderson. Wow. Well. De Gea having a kid is the worst thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> Gave Henderson a run in the team. Mm, yeah, I think it was bound to happen anyways. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it just gave it just gave uh, Ollie like the right in. It was like, oh, he's yeah. out for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, but do you guys think Everton have a chance to make the top four? No, oh, that's like oh. a that's a big shout. Because, yeah, I mean, that's a. I don't think they're shout. gonna make top six. Carlo Ancelotti has underperformed this season. I'm I wouldn't saying, say he's I'm underperformed. It's just that like hand. vintage James that was there the first half of the season is gone. Yeah, I'm just saying I they have a game in hand. They have they have 30, 52 points in the game, and they're three points behind West Ham with a game in hand. But Everton always just drop points. Just, just all right, let's teams, wait. Who who like. Everton play for these games? Villa, West Ham, Sheffield, Wolves, Man City. I see them winning the one of those game. games. 
the only team I see them beating is um, Sheffield. Sheffield. I think Villa's a better team. I think I, I think Villa will be a one-one draw, or something like that. I think yeah, Villa will but win. Jack, I think but Jack draw Grealish is in, injured. You need to remember Jack Grealish is injured for both of their games against Villa. Yeah, I so still I, think Villa will win. I think it'll be one-one in that game, but yeah, I, I don't think Everton will get enough, enough points. They, I mean, Everton might pip Wolves. Wolves have been on really bad form recently. Yeah, lost four. Yeah, I think. Play. I do think I think it'll be like Everton will get seven points in those last five games. Yeah, they're not going to beat West Ham. How many points will I take them? Fifty nine. Yeah, that won't be enough. I mean, I think I think they'll lose to Villa. They'll lose to West Ham. Oh, they play Villa twice. Yeah. No, twice. Yeah, they play them twice. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah, them. I see them taking oh, four crazy. points. Okay. Maybe five oh. from these five games. I think they'll draw the home. I think they'll draw the away game. So I mean, I think they could get sixty points out of these. They'll get they'll get eight points out of these games. Not, I yeah. see them drawing with Villa one of those games and losing the other one, losing to West Ham. I actually no, I can see them beating Wolves. To be honest, Wolves have been horrible this season. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, 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 I'm not sure. I don't think they'll be in the top four, but they still have a chance. And that Everton West Ham game should be interesting for that. Yeah, like mathematically, but like they're math- mathematically in it. The only ones who are not in it is. Is Leeds, Arsenal, Aston Villa, they're not in, in the yeah. race. Speaking speaking of Wolves, though, I feel like Sheffield United's fall has like uh has kind of masked over how well, bad you know Leeds why Wolves been. dropped off the face of the earth? Jimenez, Jimenez fracturing yeah. his skull. Yeah, but it's not only just that, because I remember with Jimenez being in the squad, they were struggling before yeah. they were struggling at that. Triore has had a uh, yeah, Adama season. and losing Jota because Jota yeah. was like good. But but Pedro Neto has come into the team and played really well. I think that Johnny and Doherty both not Doherty being sold and Johnny being injured has also had a big yeah. impact on them. Yeah, definitely agree. They well, also well, picked up um, who did they buy? They picked up uh, Kiana Hover for like four or five mil. Or like yeah, I forget how much it was, but from us and he's like has a starter for them and it was like free money. <laughs> so, yeah, it was free money. We honestly flip players so yeah. often. We Fabio bought Dominic Solanke for like two mil and sold him for twenty. Absolute steal. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Bournemouth. Yeah, Almost but... as good as Monaco at flipping. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Monaco just the that's team point. to beat in that field. But we also sold um Jordan Ibe. Remember Jordan Ibe? Yeah. Oh, Bournemouth oh, yeah, legend yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Rian Brewster, Jordan Ibe, Dominic Solanke. Yeah, you guys, we're probably gonna get rid of Harry Wilson, which is a shame. Yeah. But yeah, that'll be a shame. Yeah, I, I like Harry Wilson. But Harvey Elliott has me enticed. Do you guys want Ryan Kemp to come back? Uh, I think he's there permanently. Is, he, did they sign him? I thought he's still on loan. No, no, I, I, on loan. I think I think Rangers didn't sign him permanently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Ryan Kemp's gone. Yeah. <laughs> he's been good this season hard. though. Yeah, but uh, let's. I, we talked about all the other games. I think in sufficient length. Uh, let's go into. Let's talk about the big game, Man United versus Liverpool. Uh, oh, we're we're not talking about Tottenham Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield could bag three points. You never know, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's preview the Rian game. Bruce no, masterclass. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm well, we did kidding. preview the other games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, do we, wait, first of all, do we Line see what are we saying? West Ham? Do we see West Ham beating Burnley? West yes, Ham. West Ham yeah. is going to be Burnley. Yes. Ah, mm. uh, oh, nice. I think it's going to be a one-one here. Actually, actually, no, no. West Ham actually. Bur- Burnley, are, Burnley are coming off their big high. Like they've already secured promotion. I mean, promotion, staying above relegation after that big win. Is it secured? Wolves. I mean, like practically, they're oh. not dropping. How many points? Let me check. They're not dropping nine points I mean, in the I last see, four games. I do see West Ham win beating Burnley. Yeah, I think Burnley are going to regress from last game. Yeah, I remember. So obviously, game. City City is going to beat Crystal Palace. Yeah, Leeds will probably beat Brighton. Actually, that could be an entertaining game. Yeah, but I'm trying like if okay. Mopay has like an actual decent game. Yeah, I just can't see Brighton scoring. Yeah, that's the problem. No, uh, I think it's going to be like one of those one no games. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Obviously, with Leeds, you never know. They could score four on goals. Yeah, no, no, but at least against these teams, it usually is like a one nil type it, game where they have like 30, 40 shots. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, what are we saying time. for Everton Aston Villa? 
Yeah, uh-huh. I haven't asked about. Well, I think, well, we already talked about that though. We, yeah, we said it would be like a. I think I went for a draw. Yeah, I think I. Newcastle I versus I'm Arsenal. Actually, I'm actually not sure. Draw or Everton win because Aston Villa don't have Grealish, and I think they've been struggling. Yeah. Today, but where's Newcastle on the table? Oh, they're there. Oh no, they're, there's there's good distance. Yeah, I think the bottom four now are just guaranteed to go down at this point. The bottom, bottom three, three, yeah, yeah. I think the bottom three will go down. Okay. Yeah. Them, but Fulham will need a win against Chelsea. So maybe that Fulham game- needs Fulham needs seven points, and they need Brighton to drop seven points. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough. They match, need seven Fulham, points just to be equal. But Fulham, but yeah, will be desperate for a win. So it may, it may be a good that uh, Chelsea. Fulham- yeah, but Chelsea are in such good form. There's no chance Fulham take anything off them. I think. Yeah, yeah but you never Chelsea know. Just hold yeah. the ball. I, I I think this could easily be a nil nil. Yeah, but like like, you, like Ruben Loftus Cheek has been one of like Fulham's like quality yeah, players this play. season, and he can't even play. Yeah, I think this could I could I think I think this could be easily a nil nil like against like against Chelsea versus Brighton because Chelsea have had. No, so no if you, even if we even if you started Tammy Abraham, Abraham is scoring against Fulham. Yeah, I, I agree. No, but the thing is, like, I'm, I, I'm the, the thing is Fulham have been solid, pretty solid against against yeah. the bigger teams. This year, and except Fulham, Fulham, never, Fulham, Fulham never could play against Arsenal. I don't I, actually no. I mean, in the away game, but in the away game, but overall, yeah. I was talking about the usually when Fulham go away or at home to Arsenal, they struggle. But yeah, but like besides that, they're always like they in this year against these against the bigger teams. They've been they put a valiant effort. Obviously, not Man City, but. Like everyone else, like they always gave a test to each of the teams they played against, from what I, re- yeah. what I recall. So I think, and Chelsea, Chelsea struggled to score goals as well. So I think this could easily be like a nil nil, like against they had against Brighton. Yeah. I so I'm gonna I'm going for I'm hoping it's a nil nil. I would hope for a Fulham win, but yeah, I would I, hope for a Fulham win too. Going, that's too much too much task. For me. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I I I would say I still see Chelsea. Taking a W here. Yeah, I, just, I don't see Chelsea dropping points to Fulham. Yeah, Argy, what are you saying, Fred? <laughs> Dave, I don't see them dropping points. Mm. All right, it. Liverpool United. Uh, what do we what do we say in the team sheets are? Oh, oh. okay. Uh, Argy, do you want to go first? Yeah, you can- I'll, I'll let you guys go first. He, he, he only always names the same. Like, I was gonna say, I we all we both already know who it's gonna yeah. be. So like. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Henderson, we think Dean Henderson. Yeah, yeah. Juan Bissaka, Maguire. Who's it? Lindelof or Bai, do you think? Lindelof is going to play. Lindelof, yeah. okay. Bai Lindelof, doesn't play. Shaw, <laughs> McFred, McFred in the middle. McFred. McFred. <laughs> yeah. Scott Pogba, McSauce. Pogba probably yeah. out wide, as he usually is, like during the big games. And then yeah. Bruno, Rashford, and I think Greenwood. I think Greenwood. The, the only on. thing I would say is I think I agree with everything. Of course, McFred is going to play. Yeah. How could McFred, McFred not play? Yeah. I don't think Pogba's starting. I think Rashford's starting on the left, Cavani up top, and I think Dan James is starting on the right. Well, actually. Because because Dan James, I, Ollie loves to play Dan James in the big games because he works his ass off and tracks back. And on Salah's side, like he would provide so much support to Wamba Saka. That'd be Mane's side, though. No. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mane's side. Still, 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 still. You know yeah. what I mean. Still. Against Liverpool's attack, I think the tracking back of. Dan, mm-hmm. Dan James will get him in the team. I don't see Dan James. I, I I would say I think Dan James is going to start. And okay, yeah. Then you guys could give your team too. Um, wait, before I want to see if go. when Nat Phillips is supposed to. Wait, be wait, back. wait, 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 wait. Oh, before we get there, I wanted to ask a question. I wanted to ask about the United team. Where is where is Eric Bailly? Same with Donny Van de Beek in the shadow realm. <laughs> like. <laughs> How is Bailey by not starting for you guys? I don't understand. Because there he's in the shadow realm. He's how had like five. He's Lindelof had like a bajillion injuries. Him. Yeah. How is Lindelof better than him? I don't S- get it. Same, no, same with same with Diallo too. All the United Shadow Realm players: Diallo, Bai, Van de Beek. Yeah, two on Zebe. They're all just don't exist anymore. I mean, okay, Van de Beek. Van de Beek got so hard. Lindelof versus Bai. Like, who do you I think like more better? Lindelof is a better passer of the ball. But Bai is a better defender. Bai is a better defender. Uh, and Lindelof just Lindelof and Maguire man just suck so much together sometimes. Yeah, Bai complements so, Maguire really well. Yeah, Maguire lacks that pace, and so Bai could just cover all the space behind him. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Push higher up on the pitch. Yeah, why is Bai not st- not starting? Like because Ole has his 14 players or 15 players that he loves, and everyone else 
just it doesn't exist. That's uh, that, that's, yeah, pretty that's much. just how it is. Really, why it's a bit erratic though sometimes. Yeah, and in, in these big big games like I mean, it was with Dan James all the players and like Pogba out wide like okay. You played well though last time when yeah yeah Pogba like, and, like left Pogba been, like, recently yeah. has been really good. I just. Ale is going to play so defensive against Liverpool, just like we always play against the big six. It, it honestly doesn't make sense. We're, like, we're, it doesn't Jack, make sense to play defensive I, against us. I would, I would be right shocked if Pogba starts over Ben James. I would be shocked. I, I wouldn't be shocked. I would be. I I think Ale is going to be like, oh, Paul, you played against uh, you played against Roma, so you, you got your minutes this week. It's okay. <laughs> so good though. I can't see any way he would. Drop but Ale him. is a freak. He's a freak. Yeah. He's he yeah. does he, he he's he's so scared. He's like the most scared manager I've ever seen. What's your what's your what's your position on Ole though? Like, do you guys? I like him. Yeah, second place. You can't knock him. Yeah, you just know you like like yeah. everyone was like Ole's at the wheel is a meme, but like he actually kind of is now. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's he's doing pretty well. In fairness to him, if yeah. he was doing badly playing like this, he has to go blood. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, right right now, he's, Claude, right. Yeah. Okay. Claude. No, that's yeah. that wasn't a Claude quote. But rest in peace, Claude. I thought it was. No, no. Claude is just he has to go. To go. Uh, he has uh, to go uh, blood. Is, uh, <laughs> oh no, Claude is. It's time. Yeah, to it's go. time. To go. Yeah. Yeah. Use the troops. The troops quote. What'd you say? Use the troops quote. No, yeah, no, the troops. quote I used is from like some random guy. I forget. Oh yeah, he has to go blood. Yeah. He has to go blood. He yeah, has yeah, to yeah. go blood. He <laughs> has to go no. blood. <laughs> Just some random guy. Oh, that seems like a um, day, but okay. Yeah, you Maybe would be, some other I, I'm not surprised you thought it was troops. It's definitely it's part of the yeah. 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 All right, Josh, what do you think? Well, yeah, let's get like, to our starting lineup. I'm just going to say right off the back, I'm just going to, I want to to just get off my mind these stats and why I'm not confident for this game. I'm not either. Uh, like the last time we, we won at Old Trafford was 3 0 in the 13 14 season when Jaro got two PKs, Suarez got a goal, and, and that was when we were fighting. That's when Su- that's when we were fighting for the title. That was like prime Liverpool I was, Suarez. I was in sixth grade and I went I went to the Liverpool Man City game that year. I'm the jealous. Game. And we don't talk about what happened after. But that's how long ago this was. Yeah. And I mean, like, even still, last season, we scraped a draw with an Adam Lallana equalizer in, like, the 88th minute. And that's when Man United were absolutely crap. At that point in the season, yeah. Yeah, they were crap. They still finished. It looked like Ole was done. Yeah. Yeah. And and Pulled up to third place, though. Got his... Well, before at that point, you weren't there. Yeah, you know that. No, that was like that was like pre lockdown. But but also that draw was the first points you guys got taken off that season. Yeah. I remember going into that, you guys hadn't lost yeah. or drawn, and I was really nervous. And then I feel like we kind of ran you guys off the pitch that game. We played yeah. really well. We were not good enough in that game. And so ever since that three 0 win, it was four draws. One of the draws we mentioned there, and four losses. And then, and then our record at Old Trafford overall since the 2010-2011 season, so ever since Roy Hudson came in charge of Liverpool, one win, four draws, and nine losses. So how do you think I'm, I'm going to be confident for this game? I mean, the only saving grace that we'd have to throw that record out the window is that there's no fans. Yeah. But yeah, even but still, with FA the Cup. team we have, we're not winning this game. But then they freaking beat us in FA Cup. Uh so what's the so, lineup prediction? Yeah, let's, let's get All out right, so line. it's going to be Allison and goal. Uh, of course, Allison. The wing backs are going to be the same. It's going to be Trent Robertson. Nat Phillips is how, still out with a hamstring. How the hell does so Robertson play so many games though? Like, I actually don't understand. The dude is a machine. Yeah. It's like kind of insane. Yeah, and it's I, a freak I, of nature. But like center backs. Actually, do we know what what's the news on Phillips? I'm pretty sure he's still out with the hamstring. So it's going to be come back and be oh, you again. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Cancel yeah. Game, no avoid this season. At this like, honestly, start Reese Williams. Start, start him in center. No, 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 no. You don't want Reese Williams. Remember last time? Did that pick up? No. No, 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 no. No Reese Williams, please. <laughs> I don't want Fabinho playing center back. I'd rather Fabinho. Anyone else? Put Milner in center back, bro. Cup? Did you see him in that pick up? Yeah, I know, but like, I did not want no. I did no, not. No, but here's the thing. That that wait was that that was Fabinho and him, right? That wasn't Quebec and him. True, true. Good point. 
Uh, we I need think... like Fabinho needs to be a six so badly. Oh, I don't even. I... <laughs> we we've only got through the back four before you guys broke down. <laughs> no, it was like, it wasn't even the back four. <laughs> we got to the center back, so we're just having a meltdown. I don't know. They're all the, the either combination is pretty shit. So it's gonna be come back and Fabinho with like, center back. Just. I don't know. Um, I, I think the midfield will be which one's better because I don't know which one's better. I just I think the I think the midfield here, three just, will be pray. that's it. That's all I could do. With yeah, this. I think it's gonna be Genie Tiago and Milner in the midfield, which is just pain because I don't know why Milner. Why I, I don't mind Milner in the in the team. He he's old and he can't shoot. Well, I mean, shooting isn't what he's there for. So I don't our midfield know. can't score. I mean, he he get, he does give like against Real Madrid, for example. Why I like that he started against Real Madrid. He like gave that little that intensity that we needed for that game, and I think that kind of started that kind of helped us create a lot of chances and get that press going. So I think Muller was useful for that game for that game specifically against United. I, I think it'll still be I think it'll be Milner, Thiago, and Wijnaldum in the midfield. And I think he's going to bench Jota Milner for the normal there. front three. Well, who, who do, what other options do we even have besides Milner? We're not starting Navi Keita. That's not happening. That's what we're not, we're not doing. Oxley Chamberlain's not starting. Curtis no. Jones isn't starting. Yeah, Curtis Jones, yeah. I, I, Milner's probably the only the option that probably stands out. Yeah. Like, he, he, gives, he offers experience. Yeah. I Curtis Jones, it, it, I don't know about him in this game. Maybe, maybe he'll come instead of Milner. Can't come off the bench. No, I he, Curtis will come off the bench, and I think Shakiri will too. Yeah, maybe Curtis instead of Milner, I think, should be the option. But and then I think he's gonna bench Jota for the front three. You think he'll bench Jota and play? Mm, that's interesting. I have, I actually don't know what the lineup will be for this. Uh, I mean, because I think I this is why. like this is like too big of a game, and this front three, despite their struggles, have like been the front three for so long. I so, think yeah, that's I, my I, I, I wanted to be I wanted to be Jota, Jota, Firmino, and and Salah. That's why I want. That's why I wanted to be. I thought Firmino wasn't bad against Newcastle. Like I thought he he was able to link up the play well. Like I thought like it was just role, like the role he he usually plays. I think he he did that well. It's just we did like I, we didn't. Yeah, really but he's gonna get me like, like my friend. Like that's the problem. <laughs> My friend will tear him to shreds. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they actually will. No. Like I can see, I can no see chance. one of those two players scoring this game. McTominay. If if, if, if Scott, 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 okay, okay five, I, I first of all, that that McTominay is first, score. first of all, Fred does not score. Period. So it's not going to happen. If Scott Still. McSauce gets a goal, that might be the best thing ever. But, yeah, he's Mc, score. McSauce I, I, just I, I big know, game player. Score. Every time I watch United play, he scores, and, it, and he's going to yeah, score. McSauce always scores against City. He started up that similar repertoire against Liverpool. Oh yeah, he's going to score. Is he? Oh my god. Oh, pain. It's just pain. Just, the just, season is pain. We just we need the off season. I need my players back. Just no Original Joe Hendo, please. Just no avoid the season. Yeah, honestly. Just, just. So, okay. Didn't happen. With that being said, what's our predictions for this great game? It's going to be a shit game, I think, with McBread. <laughs> I was going to say, if I had to make a prediction, Obviously, I want us to win 10-0, but I think it's going to be a 1-1 because Ali always draws against the top six, except for City. For some reason, Ali has Pep's number, and I have no idea how. Like, he never <laughs> loses to Pep for some reason, but he that just did. gets shat on by everyone else. He's going to play Mick Sauce and Fred, and he's going to have Dan James dropping all the way back, in my opinion. So we're going to have... Uh, and Rashford's going to be dropping back pretty far too, I think. So we're going to have an outlet of Bruno and Cavani, and we're going to get a cheesy, scrappy goal where it takes like five deflections before it goes in. But our defense isn't going to be able to keep a clean sheet, and you guys are going to score in the last minute. That's what I would say. I mean, you guys did beat Tottenham. Yeah, and we lost to Tottenham 6-1. That is true. 
we, uh, we can't. I don't know. We I'm, always, I'm saying I, I, I'm gonna go with a two-one United win, which pains that's me. That's exactly to say. my prediction too. I think it's gonna be two-one United. I would love for a cheesy draw. Where we score like the last minute. That I would, I will like if that happens. No, Connor, no, you know I'm gonna message it, you. And it just won't be. In your face it about won't it. be cheesy, like in the sense that it's not deserved. I think it's gonna as Arsenal. No, it's gonna be it's cheesy. Gonna be really and, like the goal's game. gonna go off like a rebound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a shit game. There are gonna be like two shots for both teams the whole yeah. game. Yeah, it's gonna be trash. I don't know. Wait, do you trash. remember that it was at Anfield like two seasons ago? When Shakiri had that double deflected brace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was about Mourinho. That was that legendary. I guess he's got a brace against you guys in the Mourinho last, like, 20 that minutes that of the game, and both the goals were deflected. Speaking of... I vaguely remember that, this. Speaking of all, on that day, because Mourinho has been doing on that day. That was Oh, yeah, Mourinho got fired on that day. Yeah. 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 So, maybe that he's supposed to have this Instagram. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't. I'm saying two one as well. Argy, what are you saying? Yeah, same as Connor one all. If I if I had to bet, on, I'm, I'm I love the United on fans have more optimism than Liverpool than the Liverpool fans do. Oh my lord, <laughs> it's a shambles. <laughs> Oh, but I'm but just... like if you watch United play against big I, teams, I'm we actually, always but... park the bus. I'm honest. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, but we can't break teams down. down. That's what. I, that's why I think one one is fair. No, no, I agree with you. I do. I definitely do agree. I'm between the two. Nah, one. Rashford is gonna cook Quebec in this game. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, the Quebec's only gonna get put like in a spin cycle. Yeah, I I hope Trent has another masterclass where he becomes the twelfth man for the other team. That's the only thing I can hope for against Real Madrid. Just headed right back to Cavani. Lethal enough to put that away. Cavani is though. I know. Oh God, I don't know. I'm, I can see. Do you guys see a Rashford masterclass against Trent like two years ago, or when he had like two goals? All right, we don't need to bring that up. Yeah, that that yeah. didn't. Hey, relax, <laughs> relax. All right, safe. <laughs> I remember that all too well. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not confident at all. That's all I know. I, I just need Van Dyke back in this team. I need I my need that, big I Dutch one back. I need, I need last year's Liverpool. That's why I need. But I don't even I, need last year's Liverpool. I just need Van Dyke. I I bumped into Van Dyke at Pier 5 two or three years ago. Oh, just, really? Yeah. Got That's a picture dope. with him. Yeah. He was just walking around with his wife. It was early in the morning. He was like on the waterfront. He wasn't playing. He was just walking along the water. So we all ran up to him. A little off topic, but yeah. Did he, did, he, did he not say you were a United fan? No, I was shitting myself. We just took a picture. <laughs> I didn't say anything. If I saw but Rashford, was, I'm taking a photo. It was like. it was right after you guys lost the Champions League final. It was that summer, and I wanted to say something so bad. Like I was like I was like so conflicted because I was like, what if he because he's just an asshole? At that point. Yeah, what if he doesn't give me the photo because I'm just being a dickhead? Yeah. But also like the meme has to keep going, but. I had self control. Yeah, we won it the next season. Imagine, imagine if you had said something, it would have spurred him on even even exactly. more. Exactly. Well, I'm thinking now. What if he tweeted me after the game or something? That would have given me a cloud. <laughs> that would be legendary. Yeah. yeah, like look what look what happened. This little shit said, said this to me. <laughs> a year later, proved him wrong. Yeah, we're uni- we're united. <laughs> no, but exactly. like if I like like if like David de Gea or like Rashford or like Pogba, if I ran into them, I'm taking a photo. Yeah. Like, well, Van Dyke in the summer, he he does have a house along that waterfront in Brooklyn. So if you want to just hang out in that area, hope you talk his him. house. Yeah. You go to his house? No, no, no. But I know he lives around there. He's got something around there. I think it's definitely like a gated, like a summer like, house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that area is nice. Like I can see why he lives around there. Yeah. On the water near the near the bridge is just ridiculous. Yeah, that's a good area to be fair. I mean, they go to beer five. It used to be terrible, but the city did so much renovations around there. Mm. Yeah. If you made it to like 433, like the Instagram page. Yeah. Like yeah, one yeah. of the most beautiful pitches in the world. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's, I, think that's, I think that's episode 18 right there. I think we basically gave our thoughts of how confident we are. Yeah. Making the top four, how... Surprisingly, not confident that Connor and Argy are about um, uh, making top four. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're confident about making top four. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, about I, misspoke. Yeah. I misspoke. I yeah. misspoke. Relax, misspoke. About Relax Josh. Game. Relax. About winning, <laughs> about winning this game against us. Even I'm somewhat confident. Very yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we won. Yeah. 
but I wouldn't be surprised if we got a one-one shitty draw. Would you be surprised I, I if you lost those two games? To be honest, I'd be surprised if we lost. Yeah. I would be surprised. Like you can't start McFred and like expect to have five foot past you. Like you got you if you're playing McFred, you gotta have be decent. Oh, McFred players. is such a meme. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty McSauce. Yeah, dude. Yeah, B Tech Fernandinho. <laughs> a pastor Fred. Have you not seen the him in like the pastor shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Now, McTominay is Roy Keane, except if he had no quality. <laughs> Druzer just attacks people, but doesn't do anything else. Now, nah, long shot merchant. <laughs> when he scored that brace against City, I was uh, about to cry. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. That What'd was the game before, before COVID. That day, at right? City, at City. Oh, at City, yeah, yeah from the halfway line. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, before COVID. Ederson kicked it out to him just f- first time. Oh, That's my God. Before COVID. What a yeah, game. That was the last game before COVID, yeah. Last game before COVID. What a game. Oh. That's it. McTominay is a forever legend cemented in my heart. Yeah, I was jersey. I remember that was my friend. That was <laughs> really? My yeah. He's a United fan, so I was happy. The, that, <clears throat> that, like, COVID season was actually really interesting because Liverpool won, like, like officially clinched the league on the 25th of June, which was my birthday. So the first oh, time wow. they had won the league in 30 the, the, years the, the, was my sta- birthday. The stars aligned for you, yeah, it, it was actually okay. pretty cool, though. Oh, it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, like, yeah, the first time they won the league cool. in 30 years was just happened yeah. to be on my birthday. And I was yeah. like, dope. I yeah. remember because, like, Chelsea didn't win against Crystal yeah. Palace. My, Benson, my birthday Benson. is in December, so the U.S. Benson, could win yeah. the World Cup in Qatar on my birthday. <laughs> oh. You saw that, right? They're having it in the fucking winter. That's so yeah. stupid. Yeah, that's so stupid. So stupid. Hey, 2026. It's in US, Canada, Mexico. I know. Oh, if the my- final if the final is in Meadowland, that'd be so Bro, dope. Oh, me- no, they would never have the final in the Meadowlands. No okay, chance. Okay, where would they do it then? I don't a stadium that's in the middle of a big city where they can stir up business. Imagine, imagine all the international fans pulling to the Meadowlands. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, this the absolute so That's what they're. It'd probably be. It'd probably the, be in Miami. To be to honest. To be fair, the Copa America final was at the Meadowlands. Yeah, exactly. Years ago, and I went, and I was in the very top row. Oh, the I was highest the, possible row. Very. Th- I was. I was in the front. Josh, man. Oh, Josh <laughs> just on. I, I was, I was, I was right next to, I was right next to the penalty miss. Yeah, my my dad's friend had ticket. Friend had tickets. We were surrounded by Argentinian fans, and when Messi missed the penalty, I was. Uh, we were dying. surrounded by Argentinian fans as well, but yeah. there was only one side where there was Chile fans behind the goal. Yeah. We were next to, we were next to that side. Yeah, it was awesome. I was so happy that Messi lost that. Why? Because uh, Ronaldo cool. forever, bro. Oh, you know. Nah, Messi over Ronaldo. You just that's a debate just, for another time. You're a United yeah. fan. Yeah, that's so a different another, the best. Yeah, that's another <laughs> I think Owen agrees with the Josh. Get us all back why, on the pod. Why are you saying this <laughs> Honestly, like I might take Messi, but the thing is, Ronaldo always shows up big. You yeah, don't exactly. Ronaldo miss it. Like, Messi missed, here. Messi's missed the Copa America final penalty. He missed against Chelsea in the semi final of the Champions League. Like that kind of right. sets up against him. But I think like Messi's just insane to watch. Like mm. see, th- this is this is my opinion on that. Ronaldo does what top players do consistently, but Messi does pl- things that no other player. Look at can Owen do. just repeating typical arguments, expecting to sound smart. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> it's just true. Yeah, be like, be original, buddy. Be original. Ninety-one <laughs> goals in a calendar year. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I just love watching Messi play. With <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I you know, I'm not. You're not going to see me cheering for a United player. So, dude, Messi is also a bigger bitch than Ronaldo. You heard it here first. Oh, that's a, a hot take. No, it's not. No, no, it's no, not. It's not, no. He, he, honestly, he's, he's Messi's he, always calling people's moms cunts and stuff in the game. No, like, no, no yeah, he actually, he actually started the bitch a lot more. Like, I know Messi's just like, such a he, baby. As he's gotten older, he's been doing that more. Like when Ronaldo cries game. and stuff, but he doesn't insult like, people's I know this families. Guy, like, when, I know this Mr. Messi. He, I noticed that when we played against Barcelona. When, when <laughs> yeah, Barcelona we should tweet Messi and send him. Josh, get the pot to blow up. Right there, yeah. clip it, clip it. No, but Messi, no, Messi was always complaining about about stuff against us. Yeah, uh, he was like, well, oh, well. To be fair, Robertson yeah, yeah. was marking him for most of the game, and Robertson like can wind anyone up. Trust me. Robertson will just kick you. Just That's to kick a, you. Robertson will kick you and then like pretend to help you up. Yeah, like <laughs> he'll break your leg and be like, "Oh, you want help?" Like fucking dickhead. <laughs> That's why I can't stand Robertson either. You'd uh, love if Robertson's the kind of player that you want on your team. You uh, Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, yeah, Luke, <laughs> Luke Shaw over Robertson every day of the week. Yeah, best left back in the league. Best left back in the this world. season. 
This yes. Is, yeah. I mean, Any we, could, we, 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 we could argue Aaron Cresswell. We could argue Aaron Cresswell. Not, seven not, assists. Not. Hey, you can't discredit seven assists, but I do think Luke Shaw's the best one. No, this season, Luke Shaw's been the best left back. For but, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I think we kind of rambled off everywhere, but we got. I think we we got the point of how confident we are. We are. Yeah. And yeah, that's episode eight. Was eighteen now? Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. So, literally, th- th- this has basically been eighteen episodes since. Uh, since eighteen episodes ago. 18 episodes since we were th- we were top at that point we were top of the league like the first episode we did the first episode so you we shouldn't did, have started think- the damn thing we'd still be up there josh <laughs> that's a good point to end on i i agree with that take i mean <laughs> my our first our first episode was after liverpool's 1-1 draw against fulham Nice. <laughs> nice. And on that note, it's been a fantastic <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, that's all I have to say. We beat, and, and then the second episode, we are previewing the Tottenham game in that first episode. Yeah. To to be fair though, to be fair though, when teams lose, their fan channels do better. So, so you see, oh, yeah, yeah. Josh is just a great time. business mind. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So like, who who watches AFTV when they win? Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> so that is it. That is episode 18 of the Liverpool Perspective, and we'll see you all next week after the after we hopefully hopefully find a way to get a win against Man United or at yeah. least a draw. I would like to sign off by saying Argy and I took a massive W here. Yeah, definitely. Owen just, and Josh got definitely disagree with that. I'm just gonna have to. Comments actually, though. Yo, Yo, comments. Decide. Comments. Pick who you think won, even though they're all just gonna meme me and say Connor. Just pick who's gonna meme you? Everyone's just gonna be serious. Your takes are terrible, bro. (laughs) Cat. I I feel like we lost by ourselves by saying that we're we're losing. We're losing. (laughs) Yeah, we we will lose though. That's the thing. Like, mark my when Dan dropped the comments. Like the like. Yo, like, like and subscribe. Starts, I'll be proved right. <laughs> like and subscribe and comment. Yeah. Oh what yeah, your like favorite clip subscribe. Is. Everyone, subscribe to the the sports. Universe. Everyone, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on to be entered in our ten thousand dollar giveaway on the channel. <laughs> We're giving Yo, away $10,000 I don't run the sport universe, but I can definitely ask <laughs> Brian if we could do that. But right now they have 974 subscribers, so we're 26 subscribers away from a thousand. Whoever, whoever becomes the hey, thousand on. subscriber gets a free autographed shirt from me personally. So I know <laughs> you all used want to shirt, hit A used shirt, a used shirt. Special one. Oh, no, I'll buy a new one. No, no, boo, boo. We want to smell it. Okay, well, nevertheless, <laughs> never, never, nevertheless, like, thank you all for watching Liverpool's, this episode of Liverpool's Perspective. Uh, like the message, subscribe, and comment down below, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Peace.